Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use um, the MLflow API to lock metrics. Metrics is uh, metrics are very important because they allow us to uh, evaluate the performance of the model. Uh, so let me walk you through the code that I have written for this video. So as usual, the first thing that we are doing is retrieving the experiment. Um, then we are starting a new MLflow run called login metrics and uh, we are associating the the run with the experiment using the experiment ID. Now in order to lock metrics in MLflow we had two methods lock metric uh, uh, which takes the name of the matrix and its value as arguments and lock metrics which takes as an argument that a Python dictionary. Uh, now this Python, this Python dictionary can be used to basically store metrics, name and value. So basically the difference is that lock metric allows us to lock a single metric. Um, on the other hand, lock metrics allows us to lock more than one metric at the same time. So let's run this code and see what happens. Python, zero. login metrics. Okay, it seems that it was successful. Now let me show you the interface. Here we have created a new um, run called login metrics under testing MLflow1. Let's click on here and here we can see that now the metrics section is populated um, and we have basically the metrics that we defined before. So maybe uh, here we cannot see the difference because we are logging MSE uh, in both cases. But let's say that here I can use something like uh, random matrix, something like this. So we can observe the difference. Let's execute this code again and this will create a new run. Here let's go to the experiment and now we have two runs called login matrix. The la let's go to the latest one and now we can see that in addition to the matrix that we are logging using the dictionary we also have these random matrix. Uh, so, well, that's everything for this video. In the next one, we are going to see uh, the different ways that we have in MLflow to lock artifacts. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.